A man charged in the crash that led to the death of an eight-year-old girl. Jenna Hansard shows us why the family of a similar tragedy now wants police to permanently change their policies. Well, Krista, 62-year-old Graciela Olivas was killed back in February following a police chase. Today, her family issued a statement begging Kansas City, Kansas police to change their pursuit policy. They hope the death of an 8-year-old girl will be a wake-up call for the department. This week, the Kansas City, Kansas Police Department announced that for the time being, they will only pursue a vehicle if a criminal is at the wheel. Tonight, the attorneys for a grieving Kansas City, Kansas family says the change needs to be permanent. Their main concern is the fact that their mother was killed and now a little seven or eight-year-old girl was killed uh, within a two-month period of time as a result of police pursuits. They're very concerned and they want to make sure that this doesn't happen a third time. Tonight we spoke with a crash attorney who has dealt with police pursuit cases for the last 25 years. He says a permanent policy change isn't enough. Policies aren't worth the paper they're written on unless there's a training mechanism for that policy. Horn says officers need to be prepared to make smart decisions in a heated moment to save the public from potential harm. The probability that a suspect who is motivated to uh, get away from the police is going to be very dangerous to the public and make some very poor decisions. At this point, KCK police haven't completed their policy review and don't know if the change will be permanent, but the results will be public when it is complete.